Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm doing uh, my part of Laura's part of the challenge, which was using fabric, but not in the normal way, such as covering a spine or a journal or a tag pull. Now these are uh, yo-yos. I did not make these. These were made by Chestita who sent them to me, but I'm going to sew buttons onto them. I'm going to try my hand at making one of these. I've never done this before, so I don't think the length of the material matters so much or the size as long as you can like fold it in half and this would just happen to be a strip that I had um, that was already cut like that. So I'm going to give it a go. As I said, I've never done this before. Uh, but my plan was to actually put snaps on them to make them uh, usable for covers or, you know, like for envelopes or journal covers or closures or whatnot. I've never seen anybody else turn them into snaps, so... Let me thread my needle here and I will get started. Okay. I'm going to tie it well. As soon as I get the end of the thread here, I'll tie it in a knot. Okay. And you want to fold it in half. And you're going to sew down this end. So, whoops. Maybe if I can get it in the... Let me just do it this way. Alright, now I'm going to go around to kind of lock that into place. My phone is going off in there. That's right. Alright. And then you're going to go in and out. In just a straight stitch, you know. Ugh. Probably could have used a smaller needle, but I wasn't sure I'd be able to thread it. Okay. Okay, and then I want to put it around again to kind of lock that into place. This way I'm understanding how to do these. Okay. Off to the side. Alright. Now, you don't want to sew it together. You're going to hold on to this part of it and just go in and out all the way around it from what I understand. As I said, I've never done one of these before, so I have no idea. Let me pull that through right quick. Where's 
the bottom half of it. And I'm going all the way around. I don't know if this is right or not. Could have messed this up entirely. Who knows? We'll find out when I get to the end, I guess. the end Did not tighten for some reason somewhere. Oh, that was a okay. So tighten it. Okay, well it's not a perfect I'm gonna stitch that together. It's not a perfect one, but you get the idea. I'm sure with more practice I would know what I was doing. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to tie a knot in it. Not in that somehow, so I'll just clip that off. Alright, so we're going to find a button here. Uh, here's a, like a peach colored button. Okay. So I'm going to put this on, maybe, okay, and I'm just going to go diagonal with it. Not exactly in the middle, but okay. I'm going to tie this off at the back, tie it in a knot rather to hold the button on.
I'm gonna trim. Alright. So mine doesn't look that great compared to other people's. You know, I don't know how to do it that flat, but... Anyway, you kind of get the gist of making one. If you know how to make one, that's even better. Um, I will sew the buttons on off camera, I think. Um, I'm just going to do some random buttons, maybe. I got <clears throat> different styles and whatnot. Um, we need kind of a big button for that one to cover that up. Do I want white? Yeah, maybe the white one. I'll do that off camera later on. Or I could just glue them on. You don't have to sew them. So I'll do that real quick. I can always sew them on later. But I can just do a, a gluing first. could have used the colored one on that one, but I don't know. I kind of like the contrast of the black with all the, the multicolors. Of course, I may want to clamp that one down because that one doesn't want to stick very well. And I think those will be alright. That one's already sewn on. Since I've already done this one, or sewed the button on that one off camera, I'm going to tie a knot in my needle and thread real quick another knot here because I've got these little snaps okay now I'm gonna leave the back on the snap. Do I want to leave the back on? Because that will be the back of a snap. No. Okay. I'm going to move that off to the side. And I'm going to sew. Do I want to sew it? No. Nope. I think I'm going to glue it. I think it will hold better if I glue the snap in place because my needle is kind of big so I don't know if I can get it in there or not okay and I'm gonna leave that to dry just like that and once it dries I'll put the back on and then whatever I put it on then I can glue it down this way onto whatever I'm working on and then use that as a snap so there it is guys that was my idea as a think outside the box challenge um, I know it's not really unusual to make these little fabric uh, yo-yos but I've never seen anybody turn them into snaps for embellishments so, um, I don't know if I pass the 
the requirements are not for the challenge. My original idea didn't work out so well. So I was going to use some wallpaper and whatnot, but um, I couldn't cut through it all together uh, how I wanted to do it. So um, I had to come up with oh something different. I may just have to put that on my uh, little pin holder because I got thread hanging off of it. There we go. Alright, so that is it for me guys. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to work on my correspondence journal. And then, um, do probably do somewhere mixed media. Now the next round, uh, we're doing another round of the Think Outside the Box Challenge. And it's going to feature Rhoda, me, and Kiyoung. Uh, Laura is not able to join us this time around because she has a lot of other commitments that she's doing right now so she won't be able to join which is fine um and i think rhoda is going to start us off and then eight days after i think kyung is going to go and i'll end up going last so be on the lookout for even three more um things that we have to come up with in order to think outside the box with this has been a pleasure to do it's been so much fun and i thank you guys i thank rhoda and laura and kyung for and candace um because we don't know yet if she'll get to still participate or not um her husband has come home and things are not looking so good so i, I don't know how that is all going to play out but you know it's open-ended for her anytime she decides that she wants to join back in or whatever and do it. And then we will, you know, follow suit with her. Um, so yes, I thank you guys so, so much for collaborating with me on this challenge. It has been a blast and I thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. And I will see you guys soon and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.